Yes, that's Medusa. And no, you can't romance her. She's a little too focused on growing her statue collection, and she thinks you'd be a perfect addition. Good thing you're the baddest fighter in all of Greece by the time you meet her, because who wants to end their odyssey encased in stone? Come on, walk it off, because that's just the start of what she can do! She'll keep you guessing by zipping around her lair at superhuman speeds, tripping you up with energy blasts from the sky, and summoning stone warriors while protected by a force field. And if that doesn't work, she's also real good at just stabbing you! Medusa and her monstrous ilk aren't something you'll just stumble into like a bear in a cave. These fights are reserved for high-level players, and they go far beyond what you'll face while wandering the countryside or sailing the Mediterranean. Finding them takes more legwork than just tracking down a creature's lair and putting a spear through its face, and you'll probably have to go through some misguided human foes before you even get there. For example, in Medusa's case, the quest begins in Erosos, a little village on the island of Lesbos, where an angry mob is getting ready to push a woman off a cliff. The villagers are convinced the woman, whose name is Brees, sacrificed her lover, Ligia, to something called the Writhing Dread. The mob wants an execution, not justice, so right away we're showing them who's boss by kicking a few soldiers off the cliff. Brees' innocence doesn't mean the monster isn't real, of course. Legia's trail leads away from the village and into the heart of a twisting, petrified forest filled with eerily lifelike statues. And snakes. So many snakes. At the heart of it all is, yep, that's a first civilization ruin, all right. Artifacts left behind by humanity's hyper-advanced precursors are always causing supernatural trouble in Assassin's Creed, meaning the writhing dread is likely something they left behind. Getting inside the temple takes a little doing, though. The key is hidden in a village of warrior women on the nearby island of Chios, and before you head over there, you might want to stop and talk to a retired mercenary who claims to have vanquished the creature before. In keeping with Odyssey's new navigation system, you'll be given a few clues to where they are, but actually finding them takes some exploration. Every step of this journey has the potential to explode into conflict. The mercenary won't reveal anything too useful or give up his Gorgon slaying spear without a fight. And the warrior women turn out to be extremely hostile to outsiders. They also shoot fire arrows that can annihilate your health in seconds even if your level is maxed out. And when you combine that with their pet wolves and bears, a stealthy approach will probably get better results than a head-on assault. On the way to either destination, you might find yourself testing your luck in the trap-filled tomb of Orpheus, or daring to investigate why a boat that sits abandoned in a bay is surrounded by blood. Oh, it's this guy. You could burn a few storehouses to destabilize the local tyrant, hunt deer in the hills, indulge in a little piracy, or cross swords with some masked creeps in a cave. The open world of Odyssey is full of cool discoveries, beautiful vistas, and secret treasures. So taking the long route can be rewarding. Also, given that this demo was with a level 50 character, we had a chance to try out high-end abilities like Ghost Arrows, which can go through solid objects to land perfect headshots, and how did we ever survive without them? Once it's time to venture into the heart of the mystery and confront the Queen of Snakes, you'll find a powerful foe who wants nothing more than to turn you into another statue for her collection. Keep clear of her laser-like stone gaze, and you might survive long enough to send Medusa to Hades. You can start on the path to challenging Medusa, along with just about every mercenary and villain in ancient Greece, on October 5th, when Assassin's Creed Odyssey launches on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. To find out more, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, available October 5th. In our setting of ancient Greece, 431 BC, the Peloponnesian War is raging. So every little city-state has its own uh, army and they're allied with either Sparta or Athens. They're, those are the major superpowers of the time. But at first, the Peloponnesian War took place during the 5th century. 
which is a crucial moment in history for our civilization. Because as Thucydides says, it was the most important conflict in antiquity between the rise of a democracy and the ancestral system of the tyranny and the oligarchy, but also plenty other opposition between tradition and modernity, religion and science. That time period is still relevant for us today because we, we still embrace a lot of those philosophies. We still quite have the same questions that they were um, thinking about uh, back then. So it was a match made in heaven for an Assassin's Creed game uh, in explored history. So the landscape of Greece is, is magnificent. We went to visit and it, the, the epic vistas that it allowed us to create were, were something that we really wanted to concentrate on recreating in the world. Greece is made out of 85% of mountains, so it's a very uh, mountainous landscape, which is great, by the way, because yeah. it's creating tons of layering, so we could play with fogs and uh, mists so to create a very uh, unique ambience. It also plays with the, the sensation of the Odyssey as well, because there's always the sensation of what's beyond the next mountain range, what am I going to get when I go there? You always get a really cool view as you come over the hill and you see the next region lay out in front of you. It's, that, that really reinforces the sense of you being on your, your own Odyssey. For us, Greece needed to be colorful and very lush because that's what most people have in mind when they think of that amazing land. We push saturation and colors quite a lot in our game, even though we have different biome also in it. So. We knew that this world was going to be huge, so it was super important to make sure that we, we kept it interesting for the players. So as they go from region to region, it's not always just the typical picture of Greece. We saw snow-capped mountains and we, we saw lush spring valleys and things, so we wanted to really recapture that and make sure that we, we gave that to the player when they went on their journey. Reconstructing ancient Greece was quite a challenge. For some city, it was harder to find some specific data. For example, on Mykonos, nothing is remained. So it was quite hard to reproduce exactly the city as it was during antique time. The big challenge was the chaos that the, that the Greeks used to build their cities. There was no urban planning as we know it today, so we needed to try and embrace that chaos. We tried to capture the importance of mythology for the ancient Greeks. The mythology is the integral part of their society, their social behavior, their belief, their religious tradition. Mythology also inspired them in their art, in their decoration of their temple. Also, mythology was used during that time period as a politic propaganda. So again, it comes down to a lot of research and working very closely with the historians to make sure that the actions and the behaviours of, of what people are doing in the world uh, is credible to our time period. So the, the meteorite system is still present, people still live their own lives, they have their own schedule. We were really lucky that our historical characters had quite a bit of information about them. You know, you have Plato's accounts of Socrates and, and who Socrates was and how he would infuriate people with the amount of questions he asked. And then we looked at historical documentation and the different myths and legends and the stories to help us craft the fictional characters and, and who we knew we wanted to represent, who we knew we couldn't leave out, uh, and craft their personalities based on, on I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. The heroes of the past, the legends, the myths, the philosophers, it is a, an amazing cultural setting to explore.